global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Please. The expected escalation of crisis in River State has been confirmed as the Martin Amore led River State House of Assembly has taken a very serious move which may affect the total run the, the, the total running of uh, you know, River State as one of the oil rich states in Nigeria. Don't forget that uh, last Monday when they sat, they gave the governor of the state seven days ultimatum to represent the budget before the Martin Amores late House of Assembly. But then the governor, when responding to them, said that they are gone and they are totally gone. Right now he's considering and he is working on his 2025 uh, budget for the state. Uh, but yesterday was the inspiration of that seven days ultimatum. And today, uh, they have sat, and they're talking about Martin Amaoli's uh, House of Assembly. They've sat, and they have come up with a very strong move, where, which may possibly affect the running of the state. But first of all, let's look at what is that decision that they have made, and how would this decision be implemented. Now, according to the news, the Martin Amaoli later River State House of Assembly has declared a total shutdown of expenditure in the state. It has been reported that the latest development follows the expiration of the seven-day ultimatum he gave Governor Siminalari Fubara to present the 2024 budget before the House of Assembly. The ultimatum which expired this week stemmed from a motion by Domle Moal, deputy speaker of the pro Week Assembly, calling for a compliance with a court ruling that affirmed the Assembly's current membership and leadership. The demand for budget resubmission aligns with the Presidential Peace Pact from December aimed at quelling the state ongoing political crisis. Despite this, Governor Fubara, who had previously submitted the 800 billion naira budget to an Edison he led assembly, announced plan for the 2025 budget, signaling a potential dismissal of the demands of Martin Amowale's House of Assembly. And according to uh, the news uh, from TVC, the Martin Amowale's led assembly during its sitting on Monday resolved that Fubara is no longer allowed to approve or authorize expenditure from the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the state. Neither are ministries permitted to spend public funds until the 2024 budget is presented. The leader of the House, Major Jack, raised a motion informing the House about the expiration of the seven-day ultimatum given to Fubara to present the 2024 budget before the House. After deliberation, the House voted to shut down the River State Consolidation Rivers uh, Revenue Account, thus presenting, preventing Governor Fubara administration from spending any money on B. Wow, with this latest development, a lot of people are wondering what will Fubara do at this point and on what are they intending to do. Two things are involved, or more things are involved, but some of the things that we can draw from, you know, a financial aspect is possibly they're going to be writing to the central government, sorry, to the central bank, not to credit the uh, account of real estate with their expected funds. Or possibly they are going to write to the Minister of Finance and Accountant General of the Federation not to send in money because the, go the uh, current governor is spending out of, you know, without their permission or without approval of the budget. But be that as it may, we have to also understand that these guys are goners. They are, they, according to the governor, they are actually goners. They don't have that legitimate right to do that except if they can possibly stand on the wings of someone bigger and the person will give them that approval to go ahead and possibly the court will pretend as if not to know what to do. Or, sorry, Central Bank will pretend not to know what to do at that point. But at the same time, we must not forget that uh, uh, there is some huge amount of money that normally comes from the internally generated revenue of the state, which can run that state. I think far back in April, the governor, uh, Sinfobara, had informed Nigerians that uh, they generate, I think, close to 26 billion naira on a monthly basis. And, you know, that's some good amount of money. So, I, I think what may likely happen is what had happened in the days of uh, Tinibu in Lagos State as against uh, the stoppage of uh, funds into their own account. Though he said that they were running with zero location. But after some findings, what uh, happened then far back 2004 was that uh, money meant for local government was not paid into their own account, the joint account of, you know, the states. But though uh, Tinubu said it was running, you know, based on what was uh, running on zero allocation. All of this put together, I think at this point, 
the appeal court need to come out need to tell nigerians what should be the case like you know right now because keeping quiet to watch it, these things go on in the state level it's going to frustrate a lot of things you, know, you understand but i'm just wondering based on the provision of the constitution because the constitution has clearly told us what to expect you know in river state and one of those things that have been clearly pointed out was the fact that uh, these guys are uh, the status quo still remains you know that they have become and being that they have become they their seats are meant to be declared vacant which means they are only known to be ex-lawmakers whatever constitutional um legislating they are doing or uh, whatever is letting they are doing is absolutely unconstitutional and cannot affect the running of the state. You understand? Know, because already the law says they are nobodies. And then most Nigerians believe this is the time to know who are the real bosses of the state because this situation is going to tell Nigerians who are the real bosses of that state. Are these guys legit? These guys, the lawmakers, are they legitimate or truly what the, the constitution have declared concerning them? actually stand some people believe that they are going to attach their resolution uh, alongside the appeal court judgment and send it across to the banks to ensure that they prevent they, they put post no debit on those accounts and prevent you know any withdrawal some believe that they are going to be doing it from the federal government you know perspective in other words they'll be sending it across to central bank sending their resolution across to the minister of finance and all of that but it's going to cause a lot of chaos i could still remember that when that of uh, bala metinibu happened it was not a funny thing it was so difficult but then bala metinibu was making use of you know his internally generated revenue and i feel that this guy being an accountant knows what to do but our earnest prayer at this point is that let this act by these lawmakers don't trigger something on un unthinkable Though we know they are looking forward to a state of emergency where powers will be stripped from the existing state governor. But whatever um, Simfubara will do, have to do at this point must be very legitimate. He must also try to prevent possible breakdown of law and order. Because uh, when this kind of things happen, if it goes to the extreme where salaries of the workers cannot be paid, people will hit the streets and it will all go well for the administration of Fubara. And I think that's all what... Uh, these guys are after that the law because they are actually looking for. Though they claim that they are trying to follow the legitimate way, but we know that are very illegitimate, illegitimate based on the provision of the law. Because everything we're talking about here is what does the constitution say says about those who have become? What does the constitution say about it? That is the crux of the matter. If you have become, which it is not uh, something that is not known, it is everywhere. You know. Nigerians are in the know. You truly decamp. We saw everything. Documents are there to prove that you decamp. So what is this thing that we are trying to say? Let's just see how it will turn out. But however, I think at the end of the day, the people just want to see what will happen You know, at the end of the day. A lot of people are talking and uh, some believe that uh, those who are behind this act must be called speedily to order. And just calling them to order means you know, uh, they, 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 they need to be checkmates. They shouldn't be allowed to do things the, the way they like because if you allow them to continue to do what they like, it's going to really frustrate the state. That's what we'd like to leave you. Let's meet in the comment section and talk more on this. What's your position on what is currently going on in reverse state? Let's interact. Global happenings today.